Chairman of the board at St. George's Secondary School, Gerard Ferrara QC, has commented on the importance of the annual graduation season used to celebrate the achievements of students when they make a successful transition from primary, secondary, and tertiary level institutions. In his remarks at St. George's Secondary School's graduation, Ferrara stressed the importance for academic success and the invaluable contributions that parents should and continue to play in helping their children to achieve this milestone in their lives. Um, graduation ceremonies, of course, is the norm in the BVI. This is graduation season. And um, it is very fitting that we have these ceremonies uh, in which we uh, mark a particular milestone in the lives and the, of, of uh, young people. And you, the graduates, now move on to another stage in your educational process, uh, tertiary education. And I really think, hope and that all of you will move on to some form of tertiary education and uh, seek to further your knowledge and your studies and indeed your qualifications. And your successes, as it has been mentioned before, of course, is directly related to the level of uh, parenting which you have received in your respective homes. The role of parents cannot be understated, particularly in today's world. Of the 15 students at the St. George's Secondary School who sat the 2013 Secondary School Leaving Exams, nine students achieved Grade 1 certificates, two achieved Grade 2 passes, and four were unsuccessful. Salutatorian Kiana Farrington, in her welcoming remarks at the ceremony, described the transition process from secondary school for her graduating class as a bittersweet process. It is indeed a bittersweet occasion. Whistle, we are eager to move on to the next chapter, whatever that may be. We are sad to leave the safe arms of these hallowed halls. For many of us, memories are mixed with some regrets. Times we wished we had tried harder, words we wish we had never uttered. While this may be the end of life at St. George's Secondary School, it is not the end of you. We have all grown accustomed to doing things the St. George's way. Morning prayers, Christmas dinners, community outreach, ties, Black moccasins, Mrs. Hodge fried chicken on Friday, committed teachers, high expectations, a family that embraces us with love and support. Valedictorian from the 2013 graduating class of St. George's Secondary, Denisha Penn, says her class will take with them the Georgian values of hard work, tenacity, and the love for excellence as they leave that educational institution. Although we are all about to embark on our own journeys, we will all be taking with us the Georgian value of hard work, the Georgian value of tenacity, and the Georgian love for excellence. It seems like it was only yesterday that we were forced from students whom, if you give a chance, would turn a classroom into a playground or a wrestling ring. I have flashbacks of playing catch with an apple, painting the classroom with handprints all over the walls, and the detentions and scoldings that followed. We have come a long way, matured both physically and mentally. Our teachers and parents can attest to that. How have we gotten here? How did we evolve into these upright and dignified young men and women before you today? In the words of Louis Pasteur, let me tell you the secret that has led to my goals. My strength lies solely in my tenacity. It took long nights of toil. It took consistent effort in the classroom. It took failing and falling, then getting back up again with renewed determination to succeed. Spanish was my arch nemesis. Chemistry fought a relentless battle. But today I can say to you, I have overcome them, and they stand defeated in the face of my success. 
Director of Communications at HLSCC, Geraldine Ritter Freeman, in delivering the keynote address, encouraged the graduates to be determined and focused in their pursuit of their respective goals. The St. George's Secondary School graduation was held at the HLSCC on June 26, 2013.